Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I'm back with my project pen update for the month of April. I feel like overall this month was just okay. I feel like I was expecting a little bit more from my panning, even though I did finish two products, which is still amazing, but I was just expecting a little bit more from my panning, but nonetheless, it's still a good month. I think I'm just a little harsh on myself, but still a good month. I hope your plan has been going well as well. But before we hop into the update today i would like to thank anna louisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video if you guys are not familiar with anna louisa they are a sustainable jewelry brand based in new york and all of their pieces are ethically made and fairly priced i absolutely love working with anna louisa and i'm excited to say that i am now an ambassador for the brand for the next year i feel like all of my jewelry is from anna louisa and i wear them all the time like literally if you check my description box it's always Ana Luisa but they are currently having a sale for Mother's Day and you can buy one and get one 40% off so you could buy one for your mom and get another one for yourself for 40% off or you could just spoil your mom and get her a few things so that's a really good deal that they have on right now I'll leave a link to shop in my description but I wanted to show you some of my favorite pieces that I got recently I feel like I have completed my perfect air style. So I have four piercings on this side and then three on this side and I've always struggled to get like the perfect stack where I can wear every day that will go with my outfits and everything like that. But I feel like I have finally perfected my air stack. It's all from Ana Luisa. Everything is in gold, pearls. It's just perfection in my eyes. I absolutely love it. So in my first piercing, I have their Frida hoop, which is just a mini gold hoop with a little pearl drop. I've had this earring for about like two years now. It's probably my most worn piece from Ana Luisa. I absolutely love and adore it. And then right next to it in my second piercing I have the Ashley Huggy Hoop which is a little mini Huggy Hoop with little pearls embossed all around it and I feel like it's just the perfect companion with the Frida Hoop in my first piercing and then in my third piercing I just have their mini organic pearl stud and this one just like I feel like tops it all off. It just completes it. It's simple but it has the pearl and then in my helix I have the Cassie pearl and this one is like a half hoop but I feel like it really does finish off my entire ear with the pearls the gold I am obsessed with this ear stack and I feel like I have finally found my perfect ear stack also got a necklace that I'm currently wearing as well I've actually been wearing this one so much recently like ever since I got it it is one of their initial necklace so it's on a very thin dainty chain and then you just have the gold initial I got mine in J of course but I'm actually thinking of getting some other initials maybe an H for Harry and a T for Tubby because I think this is such a simple everyday necklace to wear whenever I want to wear a necklace but I don't want to wear something that's so much of a statement this one it kind of just looks a part of you because it's so simple it's so dainty and it's also very personal so I think this would be a really great gift as well so if you want to shop any of these pieces or anything else on Ana Luisa I'll leave my link down below so again a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's go ahead and hop into the update all right so to start off with my primers so the next pore filler primer I really thought I was gonna finish this up but I have not I am very close though I think probably maybe this week or next week I will have to end up cutting it open and scraping everything out so I am nearing the end but but I guess I just had hoped to finish it a little bit earlier because this little guy has been lasting me for a long time but I'm almost done with this and then for my other primer which is from Pixie Beauty it's their priming oil I think I've been going pretty slow and steady with this in the month of April I feel like I've had a lot of like my off days where I'm just doing my normal makeup like not my filming makeup my normal makeup is a little bit more natural where like a tinted sunscreen or tinted moisturizer and on those days I typically don't use these primers because I feel like those kind of products work better on just like on top of my skincare not on top of a makeup primer but yeah this past month I feel like I haven't worn so much makeup I feel like I've had a lot of more off days where I'm just wearing my like no makeup makeup which is not really no makeup makeup but just like my daily makeup that's a little bit different from my standard filming makeup that you guys see so often if you are watching the weekly vlogs 
then you may have seen that kind of makeup style that I'm talking about. Then we move into my foundation. I feel like the progress, again, it's pretty consistent with this because I use a pretty similar amount every month, every week. But I really, yeah, just need to finish this up because I can just kind of feel it going bad. Like it's not breaking me out or anything, so it's nothing concerning, but just doesn't feel as right as it used to. So I'm nearing the end. Hopefully I can finish this up. I don't know one or two months that's probably my aim right now i just this just needs to go even though i love it it just needs to go i am however going to add in a one more product in the foundation category because i really do want to finish this one up as well so it's a really random sporadic add in to the plan but it's going to be in my project pan drawer it's where i keep all of my products here so i'm going to add in the ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer so you can see i'm pretty much almost done with it like i really don't have much left but i really really want to finish up what's in here because i've had this for a while now and i feel like i just need to finish it up like i don't want to waste it like even though there's only a little bit of product left i do just want to finish this up so on my off days i've been using this one and then on my filming days i'll use the Urban Decay one. So it will be a battle between these two but I really do want to finish these up before they go like bad bad and they break out my skin. And then for my loose powder, this is from It Cosmetics. It's their Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. And when you look at it, it seems like I have used a lot but actually a lot of the product is in the cap. And I will say I have been using a lot less loose powder recently i would say in this past month so usually i'll go in with my sponge and like set my face in kind of like a light bake but these days i've actually been going in with a brush to set my face in and i feel like when you go in with a brush you are using less product so that has been my ordeal with this powder but i think i'm making good progress i mean this doesn't have a lot of product to begin with then i have my bite beauty change makeup powder a lot of you guys told me i should um repress it, which I've actually never repressed a product before. I know it doesn't change the formula, but something in the back of my head makes me feel like it does. Like something will change. Like it's not going to be 100% exactly the same. But I know a lot of people say that it's like literally brand new, like it's the same thing. So maybe I just need to get that out of my head and repress this. Um, but I feel like I'm making decent progress on this. Like we just have a good framing, like a donut framing around the powder. The progress is there, but nothing too major. I feel like this one has always been pretty consistent. And then onto brows, this is where I have my first finished product. It's another one of this bold face makeup, better brows. So I finished up the shade B9 and I did bring in the shade B12. But the difference this month is that I am not using this as my main eyebrow pencil as I have been. I did actually purchase the ABH Brow Wiz because for a moment, I really was just struggling with my brows. I didn't really like how they looked and I think it's because I really stepped away from the products that I originally started off with and the formulas that I like. So I have been using this just to finish it because I don't want to waste the product. But my main eyebrow pencil is right now the Anastasia one. Um, and I have been liking this method that I've been doing. Maybe next month um, for my project pen update, I'll do a tutorial because I feel like a lot of steps in my routine has changed slightly so maybe next month I will show you what I mean when I'm using two different brow pencils. So I'm not panning this one, I'm just panning this one because they sent me a lot of them, don't want to waste the product. So we are working on that. But for my brow powder, last month I told you I wanted to reach the wall of that middle shade of my brow powder and technically you could say I'm there. There's just a little bit of product right up against the wall but I'm pretty much did reach the wall of of the eyebrow powder which is nice maybe i will work my way up <laughs> against the wall we'll see and then for the darkest brow powder this pen i feel like definitely has gotten a little bit bigger i don't know why i feel like my hairline has been i don't know it, it looks a little bit bigger like the gap something about it so i have been using this powder a lot more for my hairline not using it today but yeah sometimes it makes me feel a little a little insecure 
<laughs> then for my eyeshadow palette, the Natasha Denona Mini Bieber. I actually haven't used this one as much this month on its own, but I have been using it alongside other palettes with my makeup looks. So I have got a few uses out of it this month, but not as much as I would like. Now let's go into my cheek products, starting off with my beloved contour palette from Kaleidos. Like, it literally looks so beat up. So for that contour powder, which is the last shadow standing, I mean, the frame is getting thinner and thinner, which is great to see. And I know you guys are going to be as satisfied as I am once this is done because this has been in the plan for so long and it's like completely gone like I'm gonna finish up an entire palette like who gets to say that these days you know like if you're not a makeup artist like finishing up an entire palette and then for my blush from Too Faced in the shade I will always love you out of all the products in my plan I feel like this past month this was the product I used the most like I went so hard with this blush and it doesn't really look like I did but trust me like I did. Like, I used this maybe, like, almost every other day. It just fitted a lot of the makeup looks I did this month, which does differ every month depending on what I'm reviewing. But this month, I feel like it was a very warm month for me. And then for my highlighter, that pan does look very satisfying, but I'm not sure how much different it's going to look from last month. I am really digging in this bottom area to just expand the pan, but I feel like this month... I did wear a lot of highlighter, but not as much as I usually do, just because I have been getting a fair few breakouts on my cheeks, so I tend to avoid a little bit of highlighter in that area, but nonetheless, I think I'm doing pretty good. And then finally, onto my lip products, I have the Just a Tint Lip Crown from Colourpop. It's from the Animal Crossing collection in Peach Surprise. This is all I have left. I feel like the blush and this product are the products I used the most this past month, and I'm really, really happy happy with how much I've used it. Again, it was a warm month, so it just naturally went along with all of my makeup looks. I think maybe we might start digging into the crayon and getting all the product out, but not much left. I mean, this was a mini, so it didn't take me as long as my previous Rise and Shine Just a Tint Lip Crayon. So yeah, progress is still really great. I'm actually kind of surprised like how quick I'm going through this but still happy about that. And then for my lip oil, I did finish it up. This is the ColourPop lip oil in Hot Shot. This one is all gone. As you can see, I have scraped everything out of it, like done and dusted. Did add in my new one. This one is the shade Playa Vista. So through my project pans, I do want to go through all of my ColourPop lip oils because I feel like it's something I can do because it's more like lip care. It's not like I'm going to finish all of my my liquid lipsticks. I feel like that's not really possible, but I can go through all of my lip oils if I do put them in my plan. And now this shade is going to be the third shade I'm going to get through. So this was the second one, and I'm just slowly making my way through all of my lip oils. So that was my update for April. Overall, I finished up two products, a brow pencil and the lip oil, which is still good. I feel like every month I kind of finish at least one product, which is really great to see. I mean, obviously some months I don't, but that's fine but it's always nice to like finish up products completely so that is going into the empties basket and again just a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video I'll leave all links down below thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video bye